Hey! Hi, Artie. Say, are you a good swimmer? Truth is, the sea festival's tomorrow at the beach, and we don't have enough participants. Could you join in, please? We'll be waiting for you at the beach. Well, goodbye. See you later. And on that note, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Harvest Moon 64, and it looks like our grass has grown. It also looks like I totally forgot to empty my uh, pockets into the fridge. Oh well. That's right, it's Thursday. It's Green Ranch's day off, and yet the animals are still out in the field. Also, tomorrow is our birthday, so we need to make sure Maria is still at a pink heart. <laughs> Hello? I, um, er, uh, oh, never mind. Please forget it. She's still super embarrassed around us. Aw. Hey, Anne's in here today. Cool. I can fix up the music box and give it to her right now. Now he's got to almost beat a pink heart as well. You must eat to live, right? I think it's the source of life. <laughs> well, I mean, God's the source of life, but... Food's the source of energy. You know what? Here, have some flowers, Jeff. Oh, uh, thank you. I need to become better friends with Jeff so he says more than just, So, how's your life? <laughs> I like writing letters. You can picture the face of the person you're writing to. That's true. Ooh, glitchy. Oh, Basil's not there today. I guess he's just gone. Or maybe he was behind the flower shop and I just didn't check. That's probably it. Hey, Cliff, how are you doing? Here, have a walnut. Is that okay? Thank you. You work so hard. I can't do that. Well, I mean, if you find something you're passionate about... Ah, thank you! Tomorrow's the festival, right? Thanks for keeping me on track, little guys. Alright, so I stayed up until 3 a.m. yesterday, so I'm gonna try to get to bed early tonight. I just think that will be wise. Hey, man! Eh, nah, I'm not giving you anything. Actually, I'll go to bed early, but I'm also gonna hit the bar. Like, as soon as it opens. Let's see, it's almost 5 o'clock, so I can cut these stumps, run to the bar, then go straight to bed. I've got corn for Anne, so music boxes aren't that much better, but they are a decent bit better. At this rate, Anne's at a green heart. I'm not really worried about getting her to a pink heart before winter. Good night, see you tomorrow. Well, I mean, if you show up in the bar, you'll see me in just a little bit. Welcome to the bar. Not a great turnout tonight. But here's Karen. Don't you get tired? Repeating the same chores every day? Is she talking to Jack? Or is she talking to Artie? Ho <laughs> ho! Intrigue. Hey, we just... In the bar, you sometimes see sides of people you don't see during the day. That, yep. Well, what do you have to do? Don't ask me silly things, okay? Month's events, first, fireworks, second, or ninth, crop festival, 17th, firefly festival, 24th, sea festival. Yeah, tomorrow's the sea festival. That's an interesting one. With a very unique reward if you win. If memory serves, it's really easy to win, but it's also like, I'm definitely creating a safe state beforehand, because if you lose, guess what? That's one item you just flat out can never get. Oh yeah, how much money did I make? I can afford the greenhouse! That's amazing. I think tomorrow I am going to buy a cow. Unless I have enough lumber for a greenhouse as well, in which case I'm building that. I'm guessing my stamina is still really low, so I'm actually not going to level up my tools tonight. I'm just going straight to bed. So I believe the Sea Festival is one of those festivals where, as long as you get there before 5 p.m., uh, you're fine, and this festival will happen normally. So we've got a good day ahead of us. Oh, I didn't give the tomato to Karen's mom. That makes me a little sad. Oh, 
Also, after my birthday, we should be able to start taking care of our dog again. Not again, but just start taking care of our dog. Oh, I should cut the grass today as well. And hey, the rest of my grass is growing too. Sweet. Oh, that's right. I can't buy a cow today. It's a festival. No! <laughs> to be fair, because I'm playing on a GameCube controller and I'm moving with the D-pad on the GameCube controller, it is a lot harder for me to throw, or for, to drop places in the right place. That made no sense. It's hard for me to put things in the bin in exactly the right way because of the D-pad I'm using. Normally, if you're playing on the N64, you're using the control stick, not the D-pad. That makes it a bit better. But I also don't have the ability to use my N64 controller on my computer, so GameCube controller is the best I can do. I've got an interesting setup for it, actually. <laughs> because instead of the C buttons, I don't use the C stick, I use the X and Y buttons. Alright. Let's start by sickling. So by sickling this grass... That's giving me fodder, which can be used to feed your cows and sheep. And of course, leveling up my sickle. And again, you can use your sickle on weeds to cut them, but again, just pick them up and throw them. That costs zero stamina. Alright, I think today I'm going to cut up all my lumber, or all the lumber I can. Now that we've got enough for the greenhouse, like... There's really nothing else super expensive that you need in the game. Alright. I think I have enough time to cut this lumber up here. Woohoo! The Summer Sea Festival and the Swimming Contest celebrate the opening of swimming season! Which is why we have it at the end of summer! That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? The winner is the person who reaches that flag over there first. The winner gets the Invincible Katori! It's like a pig statue stove thing. One of a kind item. Also, we got some very short swimsuits. Interesting perspective on the beach here. Swim by pressing the A button rapidly and with the proper timing. Alright, making the safe state here. Here we go! On your marks, get set, go! So do it not too fast, just you can probably hear it like tap 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 tap. I think Kai beat me, actually. Haha! <laughs> they say it's the effort that counts! I lost. Ouch, my muscles are going to be so sore. Oh, it's been so long since I last went swimming. This feels great. I'm a good swimmer! I used to live by the ocean, so I went swimming a lot. We went by the- we live by the ocean too, Kai! <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> the winner is Kai! Aw, oh, heck no! All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a time paradox happens. We created a wrinkle in the fabric of the time-space continuum and do the swimming festival over again. Sorry. Here we go. Hey, this feels like deja vu. Get set. Go. That's much better, yeah. I did some working out myself, but it sure doesn't seem so. I lost. Come on, give me a head start or something. I'm so much older than you. You don't look that much older. Oh, it's been so long since I last went swimming. This feels great. Wow, I didn't know I was so out of shape. <laughs> don't worry, Kai, in an alternate dimension, you win, uh, won. The winner is Artie! Yay! The prize will be sent to you later. Let's take a picture of this special occasion. Everybody get in. They didn't take a picture when Kai was one. 
Okay, I'm going to take the picture now. Everybody, say cheese. That's the photographer. The same photographer that apparently was spying on Maria and my private date. Hey, dude, I got a bone to pick with you. Well, what's up with that hairdo? Today was fun, but it's back to work tomorrow. All right, so it's my birthday, so I believe Maria should be showing up right outside my house to give me her my birthday present. Sure enough, already. It's embarrassing, but I drew this picture for you. P please accept it. I got a beautiful picture. Well, keep up the good work. Oh yeah! Best birthday present! Oh, look at that picture. It's so pretty. Very, very pixely. We can't really tell what it is. I think it's a car? Maybe? Or no, maybe it's the beach? Or maybe it's Shark Food Isle on Banjo-Kazooie? I don't know. But it looks pretty! Yeah. So, there are five different birthday presents you can get. So, you can get... So, if Maria's at a pink heart, you get this picture, which it doesn't do anything, but it looks pretty. If Ellie's at a pink heart and has the highest affection for you, you get a handkerchief, which I believe gives you slightly more maximum stamina. Uh, if Anne's at a pink heart and has the highest affection for you, you get wool socks, which makes it harder for you to get, get uh, sick. Uh, if Karen is at a pink heart and has the highest affection for you, you get a lucky bracelet, which basically makes it so it is, uh, the weather will be sunny, I think, 5% more than it normally is. So that's pretty good. And then if P Poppery is at a pink heart and at the, has the highest affection for you, then you get a Potpourri, which I actually don't know what it does. If you know what the Potpourri does, please let me know in the comments section. I want to say it's just the aesthetic or maybe your watering can can carry slightly more. I don't really know. But yeah, I've also heard a rumor where if Maria's at a yellow heart for you and is at the highest affection, then you get a book instead, which I'm not sure if that does anything. I'm not even sure if it exists. Again, if you if you can tell me this, please let me know. I would be very fascinated to hear your results. Also, it's important to note, once grass is grown, weeds cannot overwrite the grass. Big day today. I think today will be the day we get Karen up to a pink heart. Yeah, you heard that right. She's at a blue heart now. We're going to get her to a pink heart in one day. Provided she's at the bar. If she's not at the bar... So there's not a lot I can do. So let's see. Ooh, I'm, I'm super close to the greenhouse, but I'm still going to get me or help myself to a cow. We'll send you a souvenir picture and look forward to your actions in the future. That's right. It's two things. So yep, that's the invincible Katori. It actually does serve a purpose in the game. As of right now, it doesn't do anything. But if we get another special item later in the game, then they work together to do something. Winner at the swim meet! Yeah! And wow, Kai looks a lot whiter in this photo than he does uh, outside of it. <laughs> nice Photoshop. That's still such a pretty picture. Hey you, pick up things you want to buy. Do you want to ask me any questions? I'd like to buy an animal. Oh, choose one. I want a cow. I'll take it to the farm today. Oh, here, let me throw in a bell. Ring it to call cows and sheep. So that gives us a new tool, the bell. The bell uh, the, basically, you ring the bell and cow, whatever cows and sheep you own on screen will follow you. Have you ever talked to animals? They may not understand words, but they immediately understand whether you like them or not, instinctively. I don't know, Anne's spilling out more uh, dialogue for us. That's cool. Keep it in a shack, name it, and care for it. Enter your cow's name. Easy. Merry Moo Cow, Merry Moo Cow. Alright, I will not be going into Moon Mountain today. Because I've got to harvest my tomatoes and take care of my cow. Hey Ellie. Have an egg. Wow, that's helpful, thanks! I thought I'd learn how to make tea and fish for my dad when I grew up, and I wanted to learn how to cook for my mom. Aww. Take care. She's at a pink heart now! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Sweet. Hee <laughs> hee, you're always cheerful. Oh, but you're so muddy. You must be working very hard. 
Hey, Harris. I like writing letters. Blah, 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 yakety, yakety, yak. Well, that's what it sounds like to me. No basil today, either. Huh. Alright, it's back to the farm for me. First thing we're going to do is enter our barn, which is where our cow is going to be. Mary, that's it, that's it. You look fine today. So you want to talk and brush, talk to and brush your cows every day. That'll get their affection up. You really want to get their affection up high so they can win the cow festival. Obviously, I can't win the cow festival this year. It's really early autumn, and th there's no way my cow can even be fully grown by that time. So right now, it's still technically a calf, so I can't... I don't remember how long it takes before they grow up to be a full cow. So this is Mary. So right now, no milk, bored... Uh, just 20? I don't know what that means. But because we cut a lot of grass, we have... We cut 18 feeds of grass, so we have 18 feeds of fodder. We can pick fodder out of the spout, put it in there, and that's all you really need to know about your cows for now. You can eventually get milk from them, but I don't have a milker for one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, for one, I don't have a milker, and two... They're not old enough to give milk anymore. So, hey! Oh, hey, it's Cliff. What's up? Hey, Artie, I caught a lot of fish, so I brought some for you. Yeah, see, Cliff is just a great guy. I'm not even great friends with him, but he's still, like, going out of his way to be super nice to me. That's it. See you later. Later. Ah, oh, Cliff, you're, you're the best, man. I think humanity can learn something from Cliff. Maybe not even his way of life, but just... How far out of his way he goes just to be friends with us, it's really cool. <laughs> Again, I've like given him a couple gifts, but nothing that like extraordinary. I basically went, oh yeah, he just happens to be hanging out right next to a fiend of flowers, I'll give him some flowers. <laughs> what a stand-up guy. I am going to the bar, and I'm bringing my dog with me. Yeah, I know it sounds weird. Come here, boy. Invisible dog. So yeah, it sounds weird, but I'm definitely bringing my dog to the bar. And if Karen's there, then some real magic's gonna happen. Because as it, it turns out, Karen has a big thing for dogs. Like, she really, 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 really likes dogs. Even if she seems- Yes! <laughs> Alright. Oh, and hey, Basil's here too. Hey, Basil. Have a tomato. Oh, thank you very much. Girls are difficult when they reach the marriageable age. Ah, sorry, just talking. Oh, I see you talking about his own daughter. Hey, Harris, you've always been great about get delivering mail. Have a tomato. Wow, thank you very much. I like to rest on holidays, read a book, that kind of thing. Oh, thank you. What do you think about Ellie? Oh, snap. Just right off the bat, like, hey, dude, how about, what do you think about Ellie? So if you say love, and, like, she'll be like, okay, cool, like, do right by Ellie. And if we say friend, because I don't really intend on marrying Ellie. I'm intending on marrying Maria. Is that so? But Ellie likes you. What should I do? Sorry, man. I, that can't be easy. This is an easy going town. I can relax. People in other towns usually don't like strangers. Well, dude, I really appreciated you giving me fish earlier, so have a tomato. Is it okay? Thank you. Hey, Karen. Have a tomato. Oh, thank you. I feel happy. So that's what she says for any, get, like, normal gift, but tomatoes actually do boost her affection slightly more than regular gifts. Good evening. I work here part-time. Gotta save money, you know? Oh, I actually didn't realize that. Yeah, she works at this place. She doesn't just hang out. Okay, okay, see ya. Welcome, please make yourself comfortable. Hey, Regis, you deserve a tomato. Oh, what for me? Thanks. Alright, I'm gonna show my dog to people. Oh, what a lively dog. Here, boy. Oh, nice dog. I had a dog, too, a long time ago. Aw. Hey, is that your dog? Looks healthy. Oh, he likes dogs, too. You look like you've put on weight, Rory. Been eating lots of good food, eh? <laughs> oh, you surprised me. I surprise easily. 
Welcome, please make yourself comfortable. <laughs> it's just like the master. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Alright, so let's see what Karen has to say about my dog. Doesn't seem too clever. So here's the thing, Karen can say two different things about your dog. If your dog's at really low affection level, like I've been intentionally making my dog, she'll say this and say, doesn't seem too clever. If your dog's at a higher in affection, then she'll be like, hey, it looks like it's smartened up a bit. Here's the thing. If Karen says it doesn't seem too clever about your dog, showing her your dog actually boosts her affection, and there's no cap for this. So, guess what we're doing tonight? So it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but this is, every time we do this, it boosts her affection by one. So, but pretty soon she's going to be at a green heart, and then a yellow heart, and then a pink heart. Yep, green heart! <laughs> so this is why I've been purposefully really bad to my dog, just to make sure he was at a low enough affection level that this will work. Because again, if he's at a high enough affection level and she's like, Hey, it's smartened up a bit, then she doesn't get an affection boost from seeing your dog. So apparently Karen really really, really likes bad, out-of-shape dogs. <laughs> well, we've all got our... We've all got the things we like, I guess. Now, again, this is a glitch, obviously, and if you want, you can boost her to a pink heart, uh, naturally. You just have to be religious about giving her very, very fruits and tomatoes. Mood 64 your glitches are so funny and so and pretty much 99% of the time very useful the only glitch that's not nice is like the you have to rewater your plants in the rain glitch and I suppose the your girl leaves your farm if Zack comes on See you later! <laughs> Thank you, Rory. You are a good boy. And you deserve a special treat. I'm actually gonna start feeding you from now on. <laughs> so now I'm gonna try to actually get my dog's affection way up so I can win the dog race. You too! A couple ways you can do that. One, pick your dog up every day. Two, make sure you put something in your dog's food dish every day. Something edible, at least. And three, make sure you whistle your dog every day. Oh, that's right. Your dog whistle is a different button than your horse whistle. And that is the magic of a dog that's out of shape. Also, because we just got Karen to a pink card in one night, she's we're going to immediately, like, as soon as we go to sleep, get her dream sequence. And then right after that, get her sprained ankle event. So I think Karen's going to quickly become the girl with the highest affection for us. Well, good night, everybody. Sleep tight. Daddy, I'll never get in trouble again. Please open. A girl is crying? Sniff, sniff. Oh, who are you? Where did you come from? Wow, there's a hole here. My daddy's angry, so I can't go home. He went home with the crying girl holding her hand. Then... Then? Well, Karen's dream sounds a bit sad. Keep in mind, if you do Karen's dream event, it'll immediately go tonight. So, <laughs> plan that in advance. Yoo-hoo, brother! Brother, I heard you got a cow! When did you get it? That's great, let me pet it next time! Hey brother, how are your cows? Say, are you supposed to let them out in the pasture? Well, you can! You don't have to, though. See ya! I bet my corn's grown. Yep! 
So new routines got added to our day. We gotta talk and brush our cow and feed it. So you can't get sheep. Sheep are kind of useless though. Cows are way better. But I still need to get a sheep for the best ending, so... Oh shoot, I should have bought chicken feed as well. That's fine. We can do that today. Also, I think because now Ellie's at Pink Heart and we don't have to give her anything, I think we'll take the egg we would normally give to Ellie and give it to our dog as food. <laughs> do dogs like eggs? I'm sure there's uh, some dogs who like eggs. Also, is it safe for dogs to eat eggs? I've never owned a dog, so I'm out of the loop on this kind of stuff. Alright, so I think for today we're gonna pick our corn, water our crops, try to go into town, or try to give, uh... Actually, it's Sunday. I don't know where Anne's gonna be. Alright, once we finish picking our crops, we can just go to the vineyard and do Karen's dream event. We single-handedly got Karen from being just, like, our friend to being, like, madly in love with us in one night just by showing her our dog. So, is she in love with us or is she just in love with our dog? No, don't sweat, Jack! Don't sweat! That takes time! We don't have time! You gotta hurry and to the venue. I... It's getting late, but I really do need. Yeah, I'm fine on chicken feet. I can get it tomorrow. So yeah, to get Karen's dream, uh, dream event, you go in here. This is where we make wine. Shall I show you the downstairs too? Yeah, sure. See all the wine barrels? We made this last year. Shall we go back? Huh? It won't open! How did we get locked in? Yeah, so we're actually locked in here. So there are two different uh, ways out of this. We can either just spend a lot of time waiting or there's another way out. I'm hungry. You're a cool cucumber. It's locked. So I'm going to show off what happens if we just stay locked in here for a while. Seems to be for making wine. One kind of machine or another. I'm hungry. It's still locked. Karen, don't I always tell you not to go there? Huh? <laughs> What a relief! I was really nervous. See you later. So that's what happens if you just wait it out. Holy cow, it's 9 o'clock? We were locked in there for a long time. Like six hours. Another way out is if you go behind here and press A. It's magically nighttime. How did you know about this place? Even I forgot about it. Was that you who let me out of here a long time ago? <laughs> Gotta show up over these. No memory. No? Well, I was just a child and absolutely helpless. I remember grasping his hand. That's it. I don't remember his face. See you later. It was me. Oh, it was. Well, thank you. Did you remember me from the beginning? See you later. Oh, holy cow. I forgot it took it to 9 o'clock. I thought it just took it to 6 o'clock. This is why we got all our chores done before doing the dream sequence. Yes, yeah, so it's important. I think it's important to get uh, fodder for your cows before you actually get cows because you can only get fodder from grass in the summer fall or spring in winter it stops growing naturally so you need to get a nice stockpile 
You can buy fodder from Doug's store, but it's pretty expensive, 30 G per one thing of fodder. So I recommend growing your own, it's way cheaper in the long run. Also, even though my dog is locked inside, he can still magically eat his food every night. That's kind of funny. Merry Moo Cow, Merry Moo Cow, we love you, yes we do, when you're with a Moo Cow. So Karen will sprain her ankle today, and it's actually very- actually, I think I actually might have missed her sprained ankle yesterday. When Karen sprains her ankle, she'll be in the vineyard, but like really, really far up, in a place where you would never go otherwise. So I actually may have already missed her sprained ankle a bit. <laughs> Alright, down to Green Ranch we go. First things first, chicken feed. I cannot forget chicken feed, otherwise I won't be able to feed my chickens tomorrow. That's chicken feed, 10G per meal. You get as much as you like. Cool, I'm getting 89, please. Yes, you heard me right. 89 chicken feed. Thanks for business, good luck, yeah, over here. Fodder, 30G per meal. I'll ship as much as you want to your silo, but try to use your own grass and be careful not to run out. I'm not buying it. Don't need anything, are you sure? And now that we have a cow, we can buy this. That's animal medicine. Got a sick animal? You should watch their condition carefully. The price is 1,000G. I'd like to keep this on backup just in case. Because if your animal gets sick on a day, he's closed. You're out of luck. Granted, as long as you keep them fed and happy, they won't get sick. Wow, great, thank you. Hey, Gray. What do you want? Anne. Don't paint around Anne. Ooh. He's being the big brother right now. Oh, we're going to Rick's. Rick has a new thing for us now that we have a cow. That's a milking machine. You know, to milk cows. I think it's priced at 1,800 gold. Thank you. We'll send this out to the farm. Yeah, so I'm gonna check to see if Karen did sprain her ankle again. Nope! I missed it! <laughs> That's my bad. Hey, Maria! Visiting the mountain refreshes my spirits. Oh, that's good to hear. Hey, Harris! Well, wow, thank you very much! I like writing letters. Yeah, it's interesting, because I've been befriending Maria, like, a lot... Harris is not, like, at all interested in Maria in this playthrough. Oh, thank you. Hello, I'm here to fish, but I haven't caught anything yet. I don't be discouraged, man. Because I'm getting so much money for my crops, I really don't care about foraging things from the mountains anymore. Alright, well that's all the time we have for this Let's Play today. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in for next episode, we'll be finishing up summer. Probably starting autumn, too, since there are only three days left, and they shall probably be rather uneventful. I hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless, as always.